So here we are with the Micro H quad for Micro Motor Warehouse. I'm running Dark Edition 8.5 by 20 millimeter motors. Running a Nanotech 35 to 70 C discharge 1S 3.7 volt 750 milliamp lipo battery. This frame here is very very tough. I've had many hard crashes with it and it just takes it like a champ. On these new propellers that, that are clear, these are the most highly recommended propellers that I could give you right now. These things are so strong you can bend them all the way down and they do not even get stress cracks in them. It's absolutely amazing. Don't try that with a stock Hubson propeller. Now, I'm going to show you how to configure the Micro H quad with the correct PIDs in multi wee config. So what we're going to do here is make sure that your battery is definitely not plugged in whenever you plug in your USB. There we go. And plug in your USB. Now we're going to come up here and put a multi week config on the Now after we get into here, we're going to click on USB modem and then click start now it's going to start loading and you can see as I move the quad it's starting to tilt and get data from the sensors now the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that your numbers over here on roll and pitch are close to zero because if not it means that it's not leveled correctly if you do want to level it, however, make sure that your quad is on a level surface. Then click Calibrate Accelerometer right here. And then next, all you have to do is click Write. And that will write the settings and then proceed to click Stop and you can unplug your quad. So, these are just my PID settings here. Uh, you can feel free to copy these. Th these provide really, really nice performance. Uh, kind of a sportier, definitely probably not for a beginner flyer. This is going to be so something that you're going to want to put on there after you've definitely e became an expert at the Hubson or something else other than an Alien Wii. So I'm going to go ahead and just click stop and then unplug. Now, I'll just unplug and go ahead and 